Good morning to all of you. This is going to be Spring Saturday Brunch Tablescape. This is being put on by Sanji, Living Life to the Fullest. She is an awesome channel. I hope you go over and check her out. As you're going to see just a few of these little clips of all the different things she has had up in the last couple of months. Go over and check her out. She's an awesome channel, does all kinds of tablescapes, home decor, and even a little bit of cooking in there sprinkled in. She is an awesome, awesome creator. I know you're going to love her. And then we have Fabulous Design on a Budget. She is awesome. You're going to love her too. She does so many different awesome things on her channel. I just know you're going to love her. And then we're going to check out a few of the things she's done. She's done all kinds of tablescapes, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. A few little bit of cooking out there and all kinds of home decor and teaching you how to do it on a budget. You don't have to spend a lot of money. She does an awesome job on her channel. Please go over and check her out. I know you're going to just love her to pieces. Then we have D me and myself DYing it. Another awesome channel. She just does so many awesome projects on her channel. You're going to just love her. She does all kinds of home decor, DIYs, tablescapes. She puts up so much content. There is no way you're going to get bored on her channel either. All three of these awesome creators have so many awesome things to share with you. Please go check them out. I know you're going to just love them. They're all just awesome. Now, just here's a few things of what she does on her channel, as you can see. All different kinds of DIY projects. Now we're going to go into what Grandma did. I cooked a meal, part of a meal, for this. seasoned with garlic salt, lemon pepper, and a tiny seasoning. Like I say, I use a tiny seasoning in everything I cook. This is the rice that I used. Uh, you can use any rice you want. Making Spanish rice. And this is how I'm doing. You can double this any amount you want for the size of your family. I have a half a pound of ground beef in here and a half an onion. Browning both. Be back in a second for the next second step. Like I said, you can double this. Half a pound of ground beef and a half a pound of, I mean a half an onion. But you could also use turkey or whatever you want in your Spanish rice. We like ground beef. All the seasonings are already in. You season beer to your taste, how much or how well. When you have it to this point now, I'm going to stir this up and I'm going to put my rice in the ground. This is a cup and a half of rice in a small 12 inch fry pan. And we're going to add some water and some tomato sauce in a few minutes as soon as this rice starts to brown in it. brown some of the rice and now I'm going to put the liquid on it. First thing I do, I um, pour a, can, a small can of tomato sauce on top. I have poured an 8 ounce can of tomato sauce in here, filled it full of water, and a cup of water. Make sure all my rice is thoroughly covered with water. Okay, I have now put another four ounces of water on top because I want to make sure all my rice was thoroughly covered where it doesn't start sticking. Now I'm going to turn this down to low because it was on medium. And I'm going to put a lid on and let it cook.
mix vegetables on top of everything and let it cook when it's the rice is cooking. For this would be a complete meal with vegetables if you want to make a one pot meal. have a nice little Spanish rice here with your vegetable meat and your tomato sauce in here and as you can see it's nice and fluffy and yummy 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 mm -mm -mm. so good hope you enjoy this Spanish rice ramble style Here's our buffet. I made homemade refried beans from scratch. I made chicken enchiladas from scratch. And I made Spanish rice grandma style. And the uh, recipe is up right before this one. And we have some sour cream for those who want sour cream on top of their food. This was a zero cost project because the food we would be eating anyway, so I didn't write in the cost of the food. All the flowers have been used in past posts. All the containers I already had. I just wanted to share Grandma's Spanish style buffet. For you could come and pick up whatever you want to put on your plate. Now there is no meat in the refried beans and you could make the rice with no meat and make it vegetarian also. And even enchiladas, I'm sure we could have used vegetables in there instead of what we did. So, hope you enjoyed this post. What I put together for free buffet. I know it wasn't too fancy, but seeing that we can't go shopping anywhere, this is the best I could do. But this was a free, free, free post. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget, Grandma's channel is designed for adults that are interested in gardening, home decor, cleaning, cooking, and DIYs or anything grandma can come up with so don't forget to stay tuned and watch how I put the Spanish rice together for this buffet I probably should have done all of the dishes because they were all done from scratch but I was wimping out Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you come back again soon. Well, about ready to sit down and eat now. The, all the dishes are already on the table. Placemats, ice in the tea glasses refried beans in the background, Spanish rice over here, and you can have a choice of teas if you want hot or cold. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to be having iced tea, and there'll be some coffee served for those that like coffee. I personally don't drink coffee. This costs a total of zero. Free, free, free. This is a free tablescape, a free brunch, a free everything. I did buy the food for this meal, but I'm going to be eating it, and I don't count that as a cost because we have to eat every day. All the plates, the dishes, silverware, everything are things I have had from about a year to 25 years. These beautiful glass containers are all from Pinsters House and they're probably at least 25 years old. And as you can see, they 
match beautifully and go nice with all my pieces. Plus the glasses here with the blue stems are also Princess House, another 25 year. And the blues match uh, everything. I know that I would have rather had all the blues match better, but you know, I can't go shopping. So we may do with the blues I had on hand. The butterflies I got last summer, the napkin rings, um, the flowers are all, I would say been bought in the last year, year and a half, uh, and they've been used in multiple, multiple, several different uh, flower arrangements. I make them up all the time. This piece right here, they're setting it, really bling, belongs on my patio outside table, but I thought I'd bring it in and use it today in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will put this food on a plate but you can see how it's going to look all plated up. Stay tuned now, don't go anywhere. All plated up and ready to eat. The um, tea that's in here is the um, Good Earth, sweet and spicy. You don't need any sugar at all with this tea, it's sweet naturally very good tea. I drink it all the time. If you're concerned about artificial sweeteners, that is the tea to drink because the tea already is sweet tasting. We have on the plate chicken enchiladas, refried beans, and Spanish rice. And as you see, the rice does have vegetables in it. And this was all made by me from scratch. Nothing was pre-made. So I hope you enjoy the video I made about the Spanish rice. It was at the front of this video. Here's my second plate, all done also. Hope you are enjoying these videos. We're actually putting food on the plates now that we didn't used to do. It seems only fair that we should get you interested in using the plates that you have purchased for these tablescapes. Hope you enjoyed how everything was put together. Blue was the theme, and because I didn't have a lot of blue, the placemats are blue, They're, the dinner plate is blue, the butterflies are blue, and there's a mixture of different blues in my centerpiece. I hope, oh, and I hope forgot. The stems on my cut glass is also blue. So I hope you enjoyed my tablescape for this challenge. Oh, we're look at the pie my granddaughter brought us to eat for dessert with our Mexican food today. Yum, yum, yum. It's chocolate, right? Cookies and creams. Om oh, yum yum. We are having an awesome dinner today. Well, I hope you enjoyed this spring buffet that we put together today. I'm sorry I didn't have a lot of plates because I really haven't been doing tablescapes very long. So I did the best I could with what I had. Believe it or not, there was enough food that could have easily fed 12 people on these containers that you saw. I uh, had a wonderful meal with my granddaughter and they took tons and tons of food home for her sister and they would have had enough food for a couple of days. So I hope you enjoy this. My channel is designed for adults only that are interested in tablescapes, home decor, uh, anything to do with gardening, cooking, cleaning, DIY projects. I hope you come again soon. We always have something up new at least three or four times a week. Bye-bye for now, my awesome, awesome followers. Loved having you stop by and kisses, kisses for all of you that stayed till the very end. I just love it when I have so many awesome followers just like you. Bye-bye for now.